encryption modes that have recently been discussed and proposed in the um, IEEE working groups, but those are not standardized yet as I understand it. So, well, um, what this comes down to is that actually um, Apple doesn't have much to be ashamed of cryptographically. I mean, they they have a couple of slip-ups, um, but none of them turned out to be like devastating. The uh, like, I mean, the the iteration count could be higher. For instance, I've mentioned that already. Um, parts of the source code read like they couldn't really keep the. Um, different PKCS standards apart, like in some, in some sections of the CDSA or the CSSM source code, there's like a comment about a PK, PKCS1 padding where it's actually, uh, well, PKCS1 is asymmetric and they're talking about symmetric stuff and it should be PKCS7 in that case. But uh, in principle, they've stuck with, um, with, uh, with well-known standards and they have avoided um, some attacks as well. I mean, um, it's good that they use IVs that depend on the block number, actually. I mean, they could have done worse. They could have just had a counter. So the security of FileVault is, as of now, as I see it, is holding up pretty well, except for um, attacks that exploit uh, the, uh, the implementation or that exploit data leakage outside of the actual container. And of course, um, passphrase cracking. Um, I also don't think that you can do much with the, with the theoretical, um, I wouldn't say it's a vulnerability, but the theoretical problems that you have with Yarrow. I mean, um, because the security server is feeding um, the, the, the kernel entropy through def random, other processes can do that as well. They can, I mean, you can write like a huge chunk of, of zeros into your entropy pool. And th this does even work if you're not root. Um, but <laughs> it doesn't compromise the system. And, um, this shows that uh, Yarrow is kind of a robust design, and it also shows that Apple has made a good choice in choosing Yarrow, although they maybe should have modified it a little bit more, um, more elegantly, let's put it that way. So I hope this answers your question. Okay. I have a question over here. Okay. Over here, to your left. Oh, okay, sorry. So there seems to be uh, recently a lot of backlash against researchers looking at Apple stuff, as we saw by the, the wireless driver stuff that happened. I was wondering if uh, any, any Mac uh, fans have contacted you or if you expect uh, to receive any emails or anything of the sort. Oh, um, oh yeah. <laughs> um, I actually received an email a couple of hours ago. Um, um, I hope he's not in the audience. <laughs> okay. so. so I should translate. Um, Basically, he's asking about the lecture that we're giving here, and he's stating that he's an Apple user himself, and asks what we want to show in um, this talk. He asks whether it's insecure. He asks whether, whoops, maximize, whether one should use this technique. Of course, I haven't replied to this mail yet, so of course, yes, Gunnar, you should use this technique. Mm -hmm. And he's complaining, I mean, he, he doesn't know what we're talking about, but he's complaining that we all, always show attacks here. I mean, <laughs> what the? <laughs> and he's asking whether we basically want to spread FUD. I mean, sorry, 
you look like a typical Apple fanboy to me. I mean, I like Apple products, but I can also be critical of them. And I think um, this is not, I mean, this is not only, this can only be seen with Apple products, but with, with Apple products, there's um, a huge amount of users that get very, very protective of their operating system and of their, um, of their power books or MacBooks or whatever it is. For me, it's just like a piece of technology and I chose it because um, it, it, is, it was good at the time for what I wanted to do and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I didn't write it, sorry. <laughs> okay, more questions? Okay, here in the back, in the middle. Um, I, I just comments on the uh, for question one before. Um, there is a problem with the constant initialization vector per block, which is uh, theoretically uh, just um, um, a cryptographic, uh, well, malpractice. Um, wait a second. Um, it's not constant per block. Uh, once, once you choose your key, it's yes, constant. That so you, for your container, it's always the same whatever you write into the block. That's correct. And uh, the second point is um, the bit flipping attack in, is in general also possible with CBC mode. The CBC mode doesn't protect the integrity of the data. That's correct as well. Yeah. Okay, so this wasn't really a question, but thank you for adding to the content of this talk. More questions or comments? Um, I just wanted to say there is a little tool called class dump, yes. which uh, lets you dump a header file from an Objective C class. That's you can use that uh, tool on the on the disk image uh, framework itself, and there's coming some interesting stuff out of it. That's quite correct. But have you actually done that? Have you looked at the output? Yes. Okay. What do you see? Because. Um, the thing is, um, although there is a little bit of objective C for the glue code, most of the stuff is um, implemented in C++. And you just see, when you use class dump, you just see um, the uh, methods that allow you to connect to the framework. And you, don't, you can't actually see inside. Yeah, that's true. Okay. But still interesting, though, I think. Well, maybe. Okay. More questions? Did we disappoint you? Did you, did you expect the firewall to be completely broken? <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a vote on that? How many, how many of you came here expecting firewall to be totally broken? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we got to try harder then. So the source code will be live in about mm, five minutes, uh, crypto.nsa.org.